Welcome back, everyone. We're checking the last box off our Spring Fever bucket list with life-size decor for your Easter celebration. And who better to get the job done than Paige, right, Paige? That's right. Okay, I mean, so the last thing on our bucket list is to participate in a scavenger hunt. Yes. And if you watch the movie, Easter Under Wraps, which premieres April 20th at 9 p.m., starring our good friends Fiona Goobelman and Brendan Penny, you will see their epic scavenger hunt. Yeah, this, this but, is pretty epic. But look at, here's my inspiration for what we're doing today. Now see where all the eggs are hidden behind stuff? Yes. Look at that big egg. Yep. How cute is that? Like anyone, if you made these life-size things in your yard, anyone would be impressed at your scavenger hunt. Like, look I, at that. I gotta step up my scavenger hunt uh, details. Seriously. These are pretty amazing. All right, so we're, yes, you're but these are easy to make, okay. so you can. We can't, so we I'm can. going to. You're I better step to. it up, it's right. Okay. And by the way, Fiona's gonna be with us tomorrow talking all about the movie and other great stuff as well. But in the meantime, let's make these. We're gonna okay. make a, a carrot, yep. and we're, we're gonna, gonna make, make an Easter egg. We should start with the carrot. Okay, let's start with the carrot. Okay, okay so the first thing, you can move that to the side. We won't need that till the end. Okay. Um, first thing you wanna do is pick up some quarter inch plywood at any hardware store. Got it's it. quarter inch, and they actually come smaller. You know, typically plywood is the four by eight. Sure. It's huge. You can actually buy two by four, two feet by four feet. And then you can kind of see here, oh, I've already cut it out. I've used a jigsaw to cut it out. Nice. And then if you come in close here, can you see the white paint yeah, around there? Yeah, exactly. That is because I, before I painted these lovely colors onto the front, I painted it with white first because this wood is pretty porous. I got it. And you want to make sure that the colors are really vibrant and they come to life. So, so it's almost like a primer on there and seals exactly. and prevents it from uh, soaking into the wood too much. We don't need um, that anymore. Let me ask you this though. If you yes. don't have a jigsaw, I, I figure that some people don't. Is there another yeah. way to do this? You know, I would say definitely, you could definitely do this. If you didn't have a jigsaw, I would say Swap out the material. Got it. So don't use um, plywood. You could use foam core and there actually cut it out. But you'd want to make sure you're either doing that inside or undercover. Got it. Because that's not gonna. But it's a good tip, just in it, case yes. you don't have it, a jigsaw. Yeah, to cut exactly. This out. It's right. fine. Okay. Okay. Now, so then, obviously, we've got the main colors on there, and yep. you're doing some uh, some just, pageness to it and yes. some detailing. Well, you know what? It's fun about this is like every carrot's different, and it's just so much fun to just, especially if you have kids, just have them do kind of whatever they want there. And then for our carrot down below, I've mixed kind of like a, a brownish Ooh, red color. I like that color. And just did some swipes. So you just kind of see, you can even just Age. Look at that, look how quick that You're comes so together. Good. You're so good. And there you go, our carrot's our almost ready. done. We're gonna finish that off in a second because yes. we gotta figure out how to have it stand up like that. Exactly. So now we're gonna shift gears over to the same technique for the Easter egg, uh, yes. although the painting technique is a little bit different. Painting is a little different. Because this was all kind of fun shapes and yep. we didn't have lines, we couldn't do this. But now we have definite lines. So this right here is called a chevron pattern. Yes it is. Um, and wow. they, these along here, we are going to be painting inside of these lines. Got it. So, these are fine. They look fine. These, do you see how they're a little messy here? Yeah, I've got right. a trick for you. We don't have to worry about how messy these are because these are the outside. Right, we're not painting on the nope. outside, only we're on the only inside. Only on the here, inside. Right? So. so, the best thing to do is take a little X-Acto knife, go all the way across, and then pull it off. That's such a great tip. Isn't that great? It's and so then too. you don't have to be so precise. And I'll do, I'm going to do that here and pull it off there. Just okay. like that, everybody. Just like that. And so, don't worry about it, don't worry about it, and don't worry about it. Got it, and so you'll just be painting in between the lines, or you're gonna get to it, I love it. Yes, we're gonna Great. be painting in between the lines, and look at that, it makes it so easy because you can be sloppy. And can I say something that I've yep. learned while I've been on Home and Family here, is that you wanna probably take this painter's tape off while the paint is still a little bit wet. So a little bit wet, yep. Right, that's the idea? Yep. So that way the paint doesn't chip as you're pulling it off. And it doesn't like kind of catch and pull it with you. I pay that, yeah, you do pay attention. pay attention. You're becoming a DIYer. Well, I'm getting there. Okay, so this is one I prepared earlier. <laughs> Good, so yeah, you we're can jump see, ahead. Yep, you can see. Then once you, um, so you fill in the lines with any colors. You can use spots like we did on that egg over there, yep. um, or little dots. Anything. Cute. I mean, you've got all this paint at your disposal. I'd say do the main parts and then just you know either you or the kids have fun with it. Okay, so I'm taking off. The tape now. Excellent, and look how it's coming off so perfectly. So easily. Yep, I can help out with that. And it makes you look like, wow, I was really good at lines. Yeah, that's right. No, you're really not. I'll you're just good at taping. 
Yeah. So okay. uh, now we've gotten that done. We've got both of them painted, ready to go. But here's the thing: we got we have to get them to stand on yes. our, on, our, on the lawn or inside the house, depending on where we're yes. doing this, right? Exactly. Okay. And you know, and this would be a great photo op inside the house as oh, well. That's true. Because if you had, I mean, these are quite large. Maybe you take them down, or if you're using the foam core, you could just imagine having people over and taking front of taking pictures in front of these. Your things. Instagram Easter shot, everybody. Yes. Okay. okay. So, so what here's we here? the rule to make them stand up. Okay. So whatever your dimension is, let's say this is 48 inches. Okay. It's not, it's a little smaller. You want to go halfway for your L bracket. Got it. So, you so can this see, guy's for here. Yep. And I'll take this one for here. For the carriage. And okay, great. And you can great. see what I've done here is I've just taken a, a small L bracket. So yep. no matter what size wood you're using, we're using one by three here. Uh -huh. This is really all you need to hold them up because they don't weigh a lot. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the wood glue. Yep. You can turn yours over. I'm going to stand mine up when I do right, it. Right, because yours is still a little bit wet. wet. Okay, so here we go. Okay, so this part, whoops, this part's going to go on the floor. Okay. We don't need to do anything that. We just need to add glue to there. All right, so if you can good. give me some wood glue there. And then, so the wood glue takes about 24 hours to set up. This is what's going to make it really sturdy and kind of last the holiday, especially if you're having a scavenger hunt. And I'm going to leave a little bit on the top and the bottom here for the, for the hot glue, for the correct? hot glue. Okay, good. And all the hot glue does really is instantly hold it in shape. So I'm going to put a little up there. Just like that. And there. And then you want to line it up with the bottom. So okay. I'm going to turn it over. You can kind of gauge the middle. It doesn't have to be perfect. But you do want to make sure that it's flat on the bottom, especially with your carrot, too. You'll notice that here. It's very flat because you almost want it to look like it's coming out of the ground. You know, the little carrot oh, is growing out of the ground. Yeah. Otherwise, we would have like gone that. to a taper. Exactly. Is that enough okay. hot glue to, to hold it for now? That will be good, okay, yes. Good. Okay, so I'm going to take I'll, that. I'll let you do the, uh, yep. the detail stuff here. Okay. A little and something like that, everybody. Then where can I touch that's not wet? Okay, there we are. Let me see yours. Oh, it's very nice. It's very nice. I right, think, it's okay. I think as we're putting right. these into place here, I can say, as always, the instructions for these great DIYs will be at hallmarkchannel.com. And make sure you tune in to Easter Under Wraps. It's this Saturday at 9 p.m., 8 central. You know where, right here on Hallmark Channel.